shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. O Lord our Governor, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Grace 
may daily be re renewed by thy Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Almighty God, who made thy blessed Son to be circumcised in obedience to the law of man, grant us the true circumcision of the Spirit, that our hearts and all our members, being mortified from all worldly and carnal lusts, we may in all things obey thy blessed will. Almighty God, remember before thee thy faithful servant Gary, and we pray thee, having opened to him the gates of large and light, thou wilt receive him more and more into thy joyful service, that he may win with thee and thy servants everywhere the eternal victory through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Here begins the reading from the book of Acts. At that time, Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means his man whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you all. This is the stone which was set at now of, of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Here endeth the reading. Thanks be to God. God. Believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, 
and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, out of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation be allowed from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, he suffered in the very and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sitting on the right hand of the Father. He shall come again in glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead. And the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated. Language changes, but the object does not. 
if I may quote Juliet, that which we call a rose by any other name would be just as sweet. Others asked, well, why wasn't Jesus named Emmanuel as the angel told Joseph? Answer, Emmanuel means God with us. It refers not to the former mayor of Chicago, who I think spells it with one M, and not to the actual name Mary and Joseph were to give the babe, but to a calling and to an inscription. Speaking of babes, the great babe Ruth was called the Sultan of Swat, but this was an inscription, an inscription, not his given name, which was George Herman Ruth, Jr. You see, I said something nice about the New York Yankees. What we have here is this remarkable fact. All over the world, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, our Lord is called Jesus, or Yesu in Swahili, or Yeso in Cantonese, and so forth. A different word in every nation, involving all tribes and peoples and tongues. Adoring his most, the most holy name of Jesus in prayer and petition, in sacrament and supplication. And today's feast is, in a real sense, the central feast of all the mysteries of Christ the Redeemer, because it unites, it unites all the other feasts of our Lord, from birth to ascension, as a burning glass focuses the rays of the sun on one spot, to show what Jesus is to us, who he is to us, what he has done, what he is doing, and what he will do for you and for me. Jesus, I trust in you. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Offertory. I will thank thee, O Lord, my God, with all of my heart. I will praise thy name forevermore. For thou, Lord, art good and gracious and of great mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Hallelujah.
holy sacrifice to the greater glory of God in honor of all his saints. A special attention today for the repose and holy progress of the soul of Joseph Aloysius Ressinger, who was Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Pray, brethren, a rest eternal grant unto him, O Lord. And let light of special shine upon you. May his soul and the soul of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable unto God the Father Almighty. May the Lord Jesus Christ sacrifice our hands to the glory of his name, O God, and in the name of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully, mercifully to accept our alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church of the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. We grace to heavenly Father to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and by the end duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee, thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We pray especially for Shane, our chief bishop, Patrick, our bishop, Joseph, our president, Kimberly, our governor, <coughs> Alex, Barry, Faye only, Casey, Charles, Greg, Deborah, Eric, Faye, John, Karen, Kyle, Leslie, Logan, Louise, Lucas, Lucille, Mason, Megan, Melody, Michelle, Miranda, Norma, Pat, Paul, Rachel, Rex, Rising Sun, Sandy, Sandy, Sarah, Suvi, Tamara, Teresa, Thomas, Travis, Joaquin, our U.S. military, especially Edmund and Jason, all victims of terrorism, confession, and starvation around the world, peace and justice in the world, and an end to the Russia Ukrainian war, all victims of the coronavirus, <coughs> RSV, and flu. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life with thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. You who truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in His holy ways, draw near with faith to take this holy sacrament to your comfort and to make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is sweet long unto us, the burden of them is tolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, 